basically he wanted to see total laparoscopic hysterectomy every surgeon wants it <laughs> three port cholecystectomy is improving my skills this is the third batch the summer batch of laparoscopy lancers uh, so that's dr arpan he has come as a lancer two of them have already left and uh, he is with us for 21 days today is the last day dr arpan will you let me know how did you come to know about laparoscopy lancers and why are you here hello everybody myself dr arpan uh, thank you for the introduction sir it's my pleasure to be at the laparoscopic lancers as a fellow i came to know about laparoscopy lancers through a uh, youtube i was going through video surgical videos and i just got to know about your channel a year ago okay. so i have been following you from last past year oh my god you are following me for last one year yes sir trolling me yeah <laughs> <laughs> so it has been great uh, experience great pleasure to see your videos and it has been a great help for me being a resident i've learned a lot from your videos i have gone through all your steps i have okay. came to know about the complications pre op things and post op what we can do all the instruments and the different setups i have uh, cutting in between a bit of introduction on the left he is a second year senior resident at amritsar government medical college and he has variety and lots of surgical cases over there and that's good that he watched our videos and it helped him a bit so dr arpan please continue yes sir. so after seeing your videos i always try to implement them in my surgical skills in my ot to my patients so uh, i have started doing a bit of laparoscopic surgeries after going through your videos that's so nice so you are doing basic surgery like yeah. laparoscopic cholecystectomy yeah i i started doing lap coles lap appendectomy after watching you uh, that's the bread and butter of an any <laughs> fresh budding laparoscopic surgeon and as we were discussing earlier when we, we i was operating and he was a observer over here so what he was telling about the bipolar shearer that i am using so and now he is using bipolar shear in almost all of his cases any experience with that yes sir initially we used to do the all the gallbladder lab coles with the monopolar maryland and later after seeing your videos i bought okay. a bipolar shearer for myself okay that's and nice. i saw a major difference between both the instruments uh, the way we use it and the confidence we get with the bipolar shear so after using the shearer bipolar shearer the life has been very easy ah, in the laparoscopic nice. world so i can use it bluntly i can uh, do the dissection very easily with, with the it, yeah. yeah you can even do the dissection and the coagulation together that's Just nice instrument handling the vessels with the bipolar shear is okay. bit easier than the monopolar thing okay that's so nice and it's like uh, you wanted to come here as an observer yes so sir. what's what was your main motive to come here was it gallbladder or was it something else basically sir i wanted to uh, go through some advanced laparoscopy so that was my main thing and plus getting uh, out in the world to see what the things are been done exactly. in the outer world yeah. so uh, coming out of my shell so yes exactly be. coming out of shell as as earlier we were also in the medical college we have a standard things that we follow when i myself was in the indian navy when i came out in the world of private practice and i saw variety of things happening so yes, you sir. must also be fascinated with those things yes sir, definitely Uh, as far as this lap col is concerned we'll talk about laparoscopic cholecystectomy only that's the major surgeries that is being done laparoscopically worldwide yes. and laparoscopically the surgery is so nice surgery that but if something goes wrong like a cbd injury or a hepatic artery injury or a duodenal injury that is devastating so our main idea is to do safe fast laparoscopy and safe and fast laparoscopy it's a very two opposite things how yeah. can you be safe and how can you be yeah. fast so any thing that you have watched during your observership yes sir. one thing uh, what i have learned during this observership is uh, how we can save our time in the ot uh, the one thing i have learned from you is uh, reducing one port yeah that is yeah. one thing that saves our time mm. if we are using if we are doing three port laparoscopy then you are the only in charge of everything you yes. are doing it with the two working ports itself that is one thing that saves your yeah, time you don't you don't require one more person yeah definitely yeah. some the second person may operating the gallbladder for you yes or the camera person yeah. his yeah. hand is stuck uh, so like three port laparoscopic cholecystectomy uh, what actually we do is generally the fourth port it's a 5 mm port really doesn't matter 
so what i want to tell in three port laparoscopy is that it increases your skill skill yes, to operate definitely sir so uh, as you did a three port laparoscopic cholecystectomy a complete one in a one of our centers how did you feel about when you were operating uh, initially sir i was amused to say it ki how three port cholecystectomy amused yeah amused yeah. is the word yeah amused to say it. Yeah. Uh, but the thing is when i did it myself i didn't saw much change difference between doing it with the fourth port or the three port thing yes. you can control the gall bladder you can retract the liver yourself with yeah, your left, well, yeah. left working port yeah so that is uh, de- de- purely depends upon your skills mm. how you are manipulating the organ with both yes hands. exactly yes you should be ambidextrous and how you handle the uh, gall bladder with left hand that's yeah. the most important yeah. thing and one more thing like uh, the 30 degree telescope you must be seeing everybody telling about critical view of safety critical view of safety should be achieved so what did you see us operating and the normal critical view of safety achieving person surgery we as so most of the cases we tend to see the critical view of safety with the three port also yes yeah exactly. we, are, we are able to see the three, critical view of uh, safety but the, in the cases where it is not possible to see the critical view of safety the fourth port really doesn't matter Ha, then exactly. you can't see the critical view of safety with the fourth port also yes. it won't be helpful yes. in this that's case. exactly now he's saying it right when you can't see it with three ports you can't see it with, with the fourth, fourth port title definitely sir. and in that case this critical view of safety goes and our original indian uh, this critical view of safety is hathi ka matha and hathi ka son it's like the heart man's is elephant's head Ganesha, and sir. the cystic duct is elephant's trunk so that is again a very interesting and a good sign to uh, proceed further and anything more about uh, using this bipolar uh, shearer device at the callus triangle you must have noticed bipolar shearer itself is a very safe instrument sir uh, you can use it very uh, safely you can use uh, make a liberal use of bipolar shearer at the callus triangle uh, because the energy just flows between both the jo- jaws of the bipolar yes, shearer yes that's so right. there is no almost nil lateral spread mm-hmm. of the mm-hmm. bipolar shearer and the, so that helps us as far as the f- uh, physics is concerned the energy transmission between the two uh, fingers of the bipolar shearer is more than a monopolar the temperature yes. rises more but it is within the two within the two so coagulation happens better than a monopolar hook. yes yeah. that's again a nice thing so anything else you wanted to see he was here to see basically he wanted to see total laparoscopic hysterectomy every surgeon wants it <laughs> yes. and laparoscopic hernia surgeries so he has witnessed around 12 total laparoscopic hysterectomies yes sir in last and weeks. any difference that you have seen the videos of others and at laparoscopy lancers again sir the same thing concept of three port surgery so we have been doing tlh with the three ports one camera port and two 5 mm working ports that that also we have been doing the unilateral uh, ipsilateral yes, ipsilateral port, ports, yeah. ports so that is also the difference between what i have been seeing earlier in uh, the videos other videos and the surgery you are doing so it brings out to be uh, helpful for the surgeon also and for the patient also at the same time working with the ipsilateral port is way easier and less fatigue yes. for the surgeon that yeah, the shoulder that. pain goes yes sir. and you are forgetting the camera person he is struggling behind the arms of the surgeon Definitely. that also goes Definitely. and the camera surgeon is more happier and especially you must be thinking that how to do surgery on the opposite side the opposite uterine artery so what did you learn from this uh, how sir, did you, how i did you? i have said, uh, learned from uh, from the last this 21 days i have seen this it's just about your skills you yes, can reach exactly. any quadrant any region of the abdomen from any, <laughs> any yes any exactly port. that's what what we are telling him and that's all about laparoscopy clearly laparoscopy we have a 30 degree scope and this 30 degree scope looks from this side also and yes. from this side also so please use the advantage of this 30 degree scope it's not the zero degree scope that was 25 years back yes. so that's what it is and especially in laparoscopic hernia like doing a tapp bilateral from the ipsilateral port yes. you must have watched that also yes. so did you feel any difficulty while we were operating or you were assisting us so i feel it was way easier to do the bilateral thing from the ipsilateral port mm. Uh, you could reach the your target organ or the target region Area, very yeah. easily uh, from the ipsilateral port so working comes to be easy plus if you are not getting fatigue during your surgery mm. then you automatically are giving a best uh, yes exactly ipsilateral port no fatigue he is rightly said i think i missed on that without fatigue no irritation and all of the staff is better and it is good for the patient yes. also obviously 
we were talking about three port laparoscopic so everybody says why three port why three port so what do you feel this is this three port a three port surgery or anything you have learned other than this three port thing while doing a three port surgery any advantage of this three port surgery uh, so the one thing i see in three port surgery uh, doing three port cholecystectomy is improving my skills doing a basic surgery like a gallbladder with a three yes. port improves my skills itself for the other advanced surgery yes exactly so this is helpful in one uh, i can say it it is helpful in this way that i can do a better surgery better complicated surgery with that's true and all the cases most of the cases not most all were done all, under all spinal the cases anesthesia that I have seen under spinal anesthesia the thing and low pressure pneumoperitoneum yeah. normally you must have seen pressures that we use are 8 to 10 so now dr arpan will be going back to his alma mater from where he has come to gmch amritsar and i hope he'll be adding um, the things the skills that he have seen and learnt at laparoscopy lancers uh, so all the best to him thank you sir it was honor working with you it was honor to work as a fellow with you i learned a lot in last these 3 weeks i've encountered all type of uh, laparoscopic surgeries almost and i'll be implementing all this experience back home at own centers yeah that's and that's very nice during this lancers workshop he has seen around 15 different operation theaters with around 15 different laparoscopy sets working on them different cameras different environments co2 sometimes uh, we operated with air also when one of the co2 cylinder failure happened and we just couldn't abandon the case so any what do you think about freelancing uh, sir being a upcoming surgeon fresh surgeon this is a one of the experience working at a different centers different ot environment with the different ot team every time yes and anesthetic uh, also yeah with the anesthetic also so this is one of the experience and uh, I got to learn many new things of uh, about the new OTs, different equipments. Mm -hmm. I've seen different different kind of cameras, different instruments. So that helps you to adjust into the new environment. Yes. Plus working with the minimum resources thing, because in freelancing thing you have the minimum resource. Yes, and it is said that the freelancing surgeon they'll call you only when you are the best. So at laparoscopy lancers you'll become a freelancer. Freelancer. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So thanks for watching and that was, that was Dr. Arpan from GMCH Amritsar, now a laparoscopy lancer and uh, we would request him to connect to us whenever he is in any difficulty, he can walk into our operation theatres at any time and that this is the offering same for anybody doing a course at laparoscopy lancers. So please do like and subscribe the channel and watch our videos if you can't uh, come to our center. Uh, I have given every detail of doing the, those basic surgeries and I also tend to show you all the difficult surgeries, any difficulties faced, any complications inside. So that will help you more. So, so don't get uh, disheartened by that. Things can happen anywhere, anything can happen, but uh, you have to resolve and uh, resolve the situation as soon as possible. And if at all a conversion to open is required, please do not hesitate in converting the patient to open as patient safety is of utmost importance. But please do not hide behind the word patient safety as improving your skills is the most important thing that is required for patient safety, not hiding behind the word patient safety. So thank you guys and thank you Dr. Arpan for your visit, 21 day visit at laparoscopy Lancer. Thank you so much. Thank, sir. You. thank you for having me.